If you want to create your very own character in the sky lens, you are in luck because it is actually pretty easy to do. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm here in a blank project and the first thing I'm going to do is switch to the rear camera so that the world tracking works. And I want to make sure I'm on the beach preview. There are a few different world tracking ones, but the beach one has the sky visible. So let's stick with this one. Next, I want to come to the objects panel and I want to add a helper script and I want the world object controller. Now this will take just a few moments to import. And once it's imported, you should have this world object controller here. And if you open that up, you'll see this red Panda FBX. And if you have your own 3D character, feel free to replace this red Panda with yours. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna stick with this. And you should see the Panda dancing here, but you might notice is not tracked to the ground. Now to fix that, we need to add device tracking. So I'm going to select my camera. I'm going to click on add component. I want to find the device tracking component. So it's down towards the bottom. I want device tracking, not any of the other trackings. And the default tracking mode of surface is perfect. And if you turn on use native AR, uh, it might work better on the phone, but it's not required. So as the preview panel, the camera's kind of moving around, you can see our Panda is now stuck to the ground. Now, even though the Panda is stuck to the ground, we still want to select the world object controller and select the device tracking. It is working here in the studio without us specifying this, but the script likes this information, so let's give it to it. So our character is here, they're dancing, but they're really small, they don't look like they're in the sky. So I'm going to start by uh, sizing them up. So I'm gonna select the panda, not the world object controller, I'm gonna select the actual object. I'm going to scale it up, so let's give it a scale of 12. And this little lock icon will change all of these together. Now our panda's big. Uh, let's move it back. So I'm going to change this Z value to let's say negative 2000 and the panda is gone. Now here in the scene preview, you can see the panda is there, but why can't we see it here? Now the reason for that is our camera will actually cut things off at a certain distance. So if you're closer than one unit to the camera, it won't show it. And if you're further away than 1000, it also won't. So I'm going to change this to let's say 50,000 just to make sure that it is plenty big. And there's our panda. And I'll actually scale that down just a bit so it's a little easier to see. And let's move it back to maybe minus 3000, just get more in the distance. So feel free to adjust the position scale as you like. We now have our character. They are positioned to be in the sky, but it still looks like they're on the ground. So let's add the sky segmentation. I'm going to come to the resources panel and I want to find the segmentation texture section, and I want to select sky. Now I'm also going to add an unlit material, just this regular unlit. I'm going to select that new material, and I'm going to change the base texture to the device camera texture. I'm going to set the opacity texture to the sky segmentation. I'm going to change the blend mode to normal. Now back over here in the objects panel, I'm going to add a screen image. And so what we're going to do with this image and material is we're going to take the device camera texture, um, use the sky segmentation to separate out the sky and everything else, and just kind of overlay this on top of everything else. With my screen image, I'm going to select the material slot, change it to the unlit, and you might see that nothing has changed. That's because we need to select our sky segmentation and we need to invert the mask. And now you can see that our character is now visible only in the sky. Now you'll see that around the trees, it's a little harder for the segmentation to work. That's just the limitation of um, snap. That's nothing we can change. Um, but we have our character in the sky. Now I just like to, my screen image, the device camera texture should be fine. I just like to set this to stretch. It's not required, just personal preference. Um, you won't see any visible changes here. All right, so at this point, our lens is pretty much done. Um, you can adjust your character size as you want. So it's more visible, less visible. I'll take the scale down just a little bit so we can see it better. We have our panda dancing in the sky and we're good to go. Now, if you do wanna add something like a post effect, uh, you can't add it to this camera because the um, our screen image here that's overlaying the ground over the character will cut that post effect off. 
So just come here, add a new camera. And inside of this camera, or just make sure you have it selected. Now we can come in and we can add a post effect or a color correction. Uh, let's add a color correction just to help bring the scene together a little more. Uh, so you can see it's applied to our character in the sky and to the ground. It might be a little intense, so let's just dial that back a bit just to kind of marry our character with the scene, and we are good.